Hello my friends, in my previous video I've been experimenting with different ways how to speed up my Mac Mini 2014. I've tried adding an external SSD disk, I've tried upgrading to the newest Mac OS. Unfortunately, it wasn't still fast enough uh, to for productivity tasks like writing documents or general multitasking. I've come to realize that it was just not meeting my needs, the performance was slow and I found myself constantly frustrated with limitations. And it has been collecting dust since uh, the last video I made a year ago. After struggling to find a solution for the slow performance, I stumbled upon a promising option switching to Windows. It may seem unconventional, but the Mac Mini is compatible with Windows, making it a viable option. After researching the idea online, I made the decision to give it a try. My skepticism was high, but the thought of better performance than when running macOS kept me intrigued. Now I will show you how to set up Windows on your Mac Mini using a USB stick. First, you will need a USB stick with the legal copy of Windows operating system already loaded. To boot into Windows, you will need to hold the Option key if you are using Mac keyboard or Alt key if you are using a Windows keyboard. This will take you to the Stage Manager where you can choose which disk to boot. At this moment, I was already happy to see Windows installation wizard appearing. When I got to the screen with partitions, I realized I couldn't use my external SSD to install a clean version of Windows because the formatting wasn't supported. This was because I had macOS installed with XFAT formatting. To resolve this issue, I put the disk in my Windows desktop and formatted it into NTFS GPT. Despite formatting the external SSD, I encountered another issue. The Mac Mini doesn't support disk connected to via USB. To rescue us from our predicament, I discovered a simple and easy way to create a bootable disk, the software called Rufus. With Rufus, you have the options to make your Windows installation bootable on an external SSD or HDD. The process was simple and straightforward. The final hurdle I faced was not being able to pick an external SSD as the boot device. But don't be afraid, there's a simple solution. By using ALT plus several keys, I was able to assess the cheat mode and select the external SSD from the drop-down menu. The process was a challenge, but it was worth it. I was finally able to run Windows on my Mac Mini with an external SSD drive. As expected, the Windows 11 installation process took a while, but I filled in all necessary options including the steps where it asked for my account information. I opted to fill in no thank you.com as my email address so that I wouldn't have to enter my real email account. So now that I finally had Windows running on Mac Mini, I was excited to see how it would perform. To my surprise, it was incredibly fast and snappy. The initial boot into Windows on the Mac Mini was a bit slow, but once the system was up and running, the performance was very responsive and quick. Windows Explorer felt faster compared to Mac OS, indicating that the Mac Mini was performing well with Windows. Although the opening of the first app, Firefox in this case was slower than expected. This may not be the case for other applications. To optimize the performance of the Mac Mini running Windows, I decided to install WinUtils. This is a popular tool for cleaning up unnecessary Windows apps and installing useful ones instead. The process was simple. First, go to GitHub page, then open PowerShell and copy-paste the provided command. Select the useful items you want to install and wait for the installation to finish. Finally, select the desired desktop tweaks to enhance your experience. Storage space became a concern after installation. On 228GB hard drive, I was left with only 66GB of free space, limiting the amount of apps and files I could keep on my device. Now let's get into the real performance testing and see how the Mac Mini holds up for the average user. I tested things like productivity, multitasking and creativity applications. I started with a simple browser startup test, launching Firefox. Unfortunately, it felt slower compared to Microsoft Edge. This was evident when loading YouTube videos, as the system struggled to play a single 4K video in one tap. 
However, a single 2K video played smoothly. When multiple 2K videos were open in different tabs, there was a noticeable lag when switching between them. When testing performance with multiple Full HD videos open in different tabs, there was no noticeable lag when switching between two tabs. However, when three Full HD videos were open, there were few skip frames when switching between tabs. With four Full HD videos open, three of the tabs performed well, but the fourth tab was constantly suspended and had to be reloaded. Then I decided to run hardware info software to see how the system was performing. The result showed that the temperature was constantly at 36 degrees Celsius, indicating a stable temperature and no signs of fan noise, which is a huge pro compared to noisy Intel desktop computer at the same price range. Next, I tried running a Geekbench 5 test on Windows. When comparing the results to previous test runs on macOS, I found that Windows had lower scores in both single core and multi core scores. I'm not sure why the scores were lower, but the subjective experience was still positive. I also attempted to play some online. 3D games, but I was disappointed to find that the performance was incredibly slow and I was forced to close the application. Then I tested some creative applications as many people had asked me and I was pleased to find that Ableton Live ran reasonably well. Although I couldn't say for certain if it could handle dozens of tracks, I found it to be usable for my needs. I also tried the Photoshop alternative Photopea and found it to be usable with minimal lag as well. So in conclusion, the results were impressive. The Mac Mini had no trouble handling most of these tasks and overall was running faster than ever before. I was able to open and close programs quickly and I no longer had to wait for my computer to catch up with me. So if you are like me and you are looking for a way to speed up your Mac Mini 2014 and squeeze the maximum out of it, I highly recommend making the switch to Windows. It might sound crazy, but trust me, it's the best decision I ever made. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.